You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hard covers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So, today was a little crazy. It wasn't a normal day for me. Um, so that's why this video is late. Um, but I do have another book review to share. So this book um, is a new book according to our library. And according to what the author states, the author is Andrea Kalmaliri. Um, she says this, this book had been written long ago, but it has been translated um, from another language. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So it was originally published in Italian. And the translated copy was put out just this past year. Almost. Um, it was published in 2016. So it's a relatively new book. And it's called the Vo A Voice in the Night by Andrea Camilleri. And it's a Inspector Montabano mystery. And here's this, what this says. Um, Inspector Montabano investigates a robbery at a supermarket. A standard case that takes a sharp turn when manager Guido Borsellano is later found hanging in his office. Was it a suicide? The inspector and the coroner have their doubts, and further investigation leads to a director of a powerful local company. Meanwhile, a girl is found brutally murdered in Giovanna Stringlow's apartment. Giovanni has a flawless alibi, but it's no coincidence that his father is the president of this province. As he delves deeper in these two cases, Montalbano finds himself in a difficult spot where political power is enmeshed with the Mafia underworld. So, um, this obviously is a murder mystery, so to speak. It was originally published in Italian, um, but it has been translated just this past year. And, um, it has 17 chapters and about... 271 73 pages and that's including like the author's note and the epilogue and and any notes that the author might have um so there's that um i really enjoyed the murder mystery this is the first book that i've read of andrea calmillary and I, I thought it was really good. Um, I would recommend this to others that like the murder mysteries or um, are interested in murder mysteries um, just casually. Um, this is a great book for adults. I don't really recommend that children read this. Um, some parts might be okay, however, you do need to preview the book before so you know which parts you want to read or whatever you prefer. Um, so, this book has a Kindle edition, you guys. I will put links down in the video description below to where you might find it. I was excited because some of the books that I've done lately do not have Kindle editions and it's just either the hardback or the paperback that you can get through the mail and for some that's just not convenient so it, it just depends on whether or not you like um, physical books or ebooks I do talk about that in another video that I've had done um, I'll put a link up in the cards on the right hand corner top corner to, so you can go check that out if you would like um, I did a whole pros and cons bit on that um, so I'll put a, a, a link on that but um, 
in essence, this was a great book. It was a little longer than I expected, I think. But it wasn't too bad, and it was, it was pretty easy reading. Although, one or two of the characters have accents, so the, the words have apostrophes that stand for the missing letters and that can make it hard to read sometimes but if you just sound it out or something like that you can pretty much figure out through conversations and what the other characters talk about to know what they say so there's that alrighty you guys um this is actually the first Andrea Camilleri book that I've read, like I mentioned. Um, have you guys read this author before? Do you like Do you like this author? It is a New York Times bestselling author, though. So, um, do you have you guys read this book? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I want to know. Hashtag the book reviewer wants to know. So, um, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again next week with another book review. Bye, guys!